come one, come all. Get your worldly goods right here. Will it make me rich? Will it make you rich? Why, you'll be so filthy, stinking, rotten rich, Bill Gates will be calling to ask you for a loan. <laughs> you, you won't have two cars. You won't have three cars. You'll have seven cars. One for every day of the week. Ah. Why, you'll be the richest man in the world. Yeah. yeah. Who needs worldly goods? I got all the worldly goods right here. Will it give me muscles? Will it give you muscles? Why, you'll be tough, buffing all that stuff. Ooh. You'll have muscles on your muscles. Yeah. And you'll have a girl hanging on each arm. Yeah. All right, who needs worldly goods? I got all the worldly goods right here. Come on. Will it make me skinny? Will it make you skinny? <laughs> <laughs> Skinny, you'll be able to hula hoop with the cheerio. <laughs> you'll be so skinny when you walk past the fence post, no one will see you. <laughs> you'll be so skinny, you'll have to wear ankle weights when the wind's blowing. <laughs> Alright, who needs worldly goods? Got plenty of worldly goods right here. Come on. Will it make me a movie star? Will it make you a movie star? Well, I can see it now. Your face plastered across every billboard in the country. Ooh. You'll be dating all the big stars like Ben Affleck and Tom Cruise. Wow. All the big stars will even be asking you for your autograph. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, who needs worldly goods? Got plenty of worldly goods to go around. Come on. Will it make me happy? Will it make you happy? Um, well, temporary. Temporary. <laughs> so come on, these are worldly goods, people. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on. Will it give me the heaven? What, what, wait, wait, what are you talking about? There's no heaven. These are worldly goods. What about eternal life? Look, these are, look, these are worldly goods. They're only good in this life. But what about Jesus? D Jesus? Th there's no Jesus. These are worldly goods. You got it? No, no Jesus. Jesus! No Jesus. Hey, what, hey, what are you guys doing? Come on. Hey, these are worldly goods. Come on, you guys. This is good stuff. I worked hard. I stayed up all night working this stuff. <laughs>
Faith. Yes, Lord. Faith, I want to talk to you about your drinking problem. But, Lord, I don't have a drinking problem. It's standing in the way of my relationship with you. I only drink sometimes, but what about my friends? It's leading you into sin. Well, Lord, you can the stress I'm under at work. Faith, I want you to lay it down. Give it to me. Philip. Yes, Lord? Philip, I want to talk to you about your fiance. Oh, yeah, Lord. I mean, isn't she great? She's so pretty and she's a Christian. Philip, I want you to end the relationship. But, Lord, I don't understand. I thought, I mean, we've been, we've been dating for so long and we even have plans to get married. But they're not my plans. She's not the one I have for you and you're not the one I have for her. But, but Lord, I don't understand. I thought she was perfect for me. I want you to lay it down. Give it to me. Lord, I, I can't. <coughs> I mean... Okay, Lord. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Him. I have decided For instance, break it off with that girl, that, that girl that, she's a Christian, she's perfect, but that's not what he has for you. You gotta turn down that job promotion because you're gonna start thinking about the things of this world and think, how can I get money? Well, you're taking away from time for your family and your time with the Lord. Those things, it's empty and shallow. We've shown that in the other skit. And the other one was quit drinking. Well, that's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> but God is calling us when we're following Him to do things that in our carnal minds, in our flesh minds, we think that's not fair or that's too hard. But His ways are better than our ways. The things He's calling us is for our own benefit. He may call you to Africa, but it's for His kingdom, His glory. If we really say, I've decided to follow you, well then really go where He goes. I'll follow you until you go in that way and then stop it. There will be time, brothers, when we set our hearts and our minds on Jesus, then we can step into the things He has for us. When we are living a life that says, I'm completely committed to you, my past is there, I'm living for you here, I'm going with you there, yeah. I can now receive the fullness of God. God's ready to bless us every single day, but are we focusing on Him? Are we looking unto Him for the promises? Are we looking unto Him for as true servants, saying, Lord, how can I serve you today? Too many times we're like, Lord, I need you to bless me. Lord, I need you to bless me. I need this. When there should be days and moments where you're like, Lord, what can I do for your kingdom? Amen. What can I do to better your name? Or to, not better, his name's the greatest, but how can I let others <laughs> know of your name? Yeah. Then we can really have the fullness of God. He's calling us every day. Are we listening? And how we can listen is to set our minds on him, is to focus on him. In my closing, I want to go with Philippians 3, uh, 13, 14. I'll go New Living Translation. Go New School on you guys. It says, No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it. Which means I haven't received that, that heavenly prior, or that focus yet. Or not that focus, but that, that end goal. He says, But I focus on this one thing. Forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I believe once you're doing that, you're pretty victorious in your present. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. Now, if that's not encouraging to you, check your pulse. <laughs> you said, I'm not looking there, and I'm not looking here, but I'm pressing on to reach the heavenly prize which you're calling me to through Christ Jesus. What, what is the Lord calling for you? For me and you, it's different. But the same thing is how we reach it, and that's if we focus on Him. And that's if we look at him first.
and say, Lord, all right, I'm looking at you. I'm trusting in you. Where am I going now? And then we can, we can receive the heavenly prize. Amen? Amen? God's calling me to do something. God's calling every single one of us to do something. We've just got to go where he's saying. And we've got to, before we can go, we've got to look. We've got to look before we step. Everybody just let's just close our eyes for a moment. Father, 